this is Sharon, spare time art design. I'm trying to get this in a position where you can see it a little bit better. I still have some work to do on getting this to look right, but at least there's no glare. So what I'm gonna do today is a flip cup of mostly blues. Well, all blues. I'm using three different blues, silver and white. And that's going to be like the watery ocean background. <clears throat> and then once I have done that and spread it out, I'm going to put do a ribbon pour over the top with phthalo green, uh, light green, and uh, greenish turquoise and white. And see if maybe that makes it kind of look like a sea life type painting. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got my cup here. I'm going to go ahead and start layering my paint. Hope you all are doing well. I can't complain. Doesn't do any good anyway. So I'm going to go from light to dark. So I'll put some silver in there. I'm just going to put like two layers, I think. And I do have silicone in all the colors except for the silver and the white. <clears throat> and this is Prussian blue, which I love. It's so pretty. Okay. And let's layer. Are you seeing this? I'm not even paying attention. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll put some more white in there. And leave just a tad for the very end. And we'll put the rest of the silver in. Now I left my silver just a little bit thicker. Because for some reason metallics tend to disappear. And I heard through the grapevine from somebody, I can't remember who it was, I think it might have been Anne-Marie, that said to <coughs> um, make your metallics a little bit thicker. So, that's what I'm doing. And actually I got the whole idea from her from watching a video that she did. She um, did a flip cup of a bunch of blue and then um, did a ribbon pour of greens through it. And it came out looking like vegetation and seahorses floating in it. And it just looked really cool. So, and it just kind of turned out that way. She didn't pour it to make it look like seahorses. She just threw it in there and that's what happened, so. Doubt I will be as lucky as her, because hers always turn out fabulous. But one can always hope. So now this is phthalo blue, but when I mixed up this bottle of paint, I added a little bit of black to it to see if I could get it looking a little bit darker. Big mistake. Apparently, my black is a green hue. So now it's a blue turquoise. Yeah. So I am waiting for the bottle to get down a little bit lower so I can transfer it into a different bottle and then just do straight phthalo blue in my blue bottle. I was kind of disappointed. I mean, I could make up a smaller bottle of phthalo blue, but that's okay. This works and Prussian blue. Should have just added Prussian blue to it instead of black. That probably would have worked better. Okay, so can somebody tell me the difference between Mars black and titanium, or not titanium, Mars black and um, ivory black? 
and do the blacks come in green hue and blue hue or are they all green hue because I like to use black to darken up colors but this was a major fail because it turned it turquoise because it had a green hue <clears throat> so I was hoping somebody could help me with that if you would like to answer that question in comments I would appreciate it greatly what is the difference between Mars black and ivory black and are all blacks a greenish hue? I don't think they are. And I'm pretty sure I used ivory black. So, any help you can give me with that, this old gal would be really appreciative. I know the majority of people out there know way more than I do about this stuff, so. Okay. Are you ready, kids? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I really suck at flip cups. That's okay. Oh, and I put a little bit of WD-40 in my cup so that it would um, release all the paint, <laughs> which it did. There's practically nothing in there now. Oh, there goes the sniffles again. I wish somebody would just reach through the camera and smack me every time I sniffle, because I'm sure it just sounds hideous. Every time I do, but I sure feel better than I did the other day. Boy, the other day I felt pretty crappy, but I'm doing better now. Well, this is coming out with some good cells to start with, so I might thin my paints down a little bit because I think they were just a little bit too thick. Over here a little bit closer all right so let's see what we can do with this who you can smell that WD-40 when you torch it that's for sure well this is Definitely gonna look oceany. The silver is actually popping up. I actually got it the right consistency this time. Pore painting has a huge learning curve, let me tell you. If you're new at this, I mean, like brand new at this, and you get it looking good the first try, I applaud you because I think I've been doing this for like two years now and I'm, I still struggle. I really struggle with it. It's looking kind of oceany.
for tilting it away from you. Should have used a bigger box. Keeps wanting to go up on the edge. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. Now, if I wanted a painting with a whole bunch of cells and and all that, I would have used two flip cups. But really, all I want from this is a base or a background. So I hope you can see that okay. That's what it it looks like so far. That light is still causing me issues. Alright, so I'm gonna get my other cup going here. And while that's sitting there, I'm gonna use some white. green okay. and actually the phthalo green and phthalo green is a little bit lighter than the the blue and then this is more of a greenish blue turquoise so we'll use some of that. Alright, I'll add a little bit more white. Okay, we'll add the rest of the light green. I'm going to set this down here so I can go over here where it's cleaner. Let's scrape out my So I got a whole bunch of 12 by 12 canvases in today. I'm beginning to think that's my favorite size to work with. I do like the rectangular ones, the 10 by 20 and the 12 by 24s though. I like doing um, like triple flip cups on them because I think they turn out kind of nice. At least the ones that I have sitting here have turned out pretty nice, so. And I do have quite a few of those left. So I've got like 20 12 by 12 canvases. And I can do dips with them, and I can do reverse dips, and I can do spinning. Except the spinning always kind of makes it kind of look like a bullseye, so I think I'm going to try and stay away from getting that pattern the next time I do it. 
I'm going to like do a flip cup and then not spin it all the way and then maybe do a ribbon pour over the top to give it a little bit more dimension and interest because I don't want all of them to look exactly the same. That would be kind of silly. I don't know if you watched the videos I did just recently, but the last spin one I did, to me it looks like a circus tent. It really does. From like the the colors are from the the old kids books that had the tents with all the stripes and all the colors. It looks like a circus tent to me. So if you happen to watch that video, let me know what you think because I really think it looks like a circus tent. All right, we'll put the last of the white over the top. Oh, it's actually sinking, but that's to be expected. Okay, now this is going to be kind of a challenge because I sort of want to make it look like grass. Oh god, I hope I just didn't put wet finger on my sweater on the table. It's on the chair there. I sort of want to make it look like seagrass. So... There's a little bit of seagrass there. And there's a little bit of seagrass there. And maybe a little bit there. And maybe we'll try and do a... Nah, my seahorses aren't going to work. I'll just have to tilt and see what happens. I'm glad I... glad I used these colors though, because it looks kind of cool. This doesn't completely cover up my blue. sit for just a minute and let it let me spread it out just a tad Put a lot of paint on there I'm probably gonna end up Getting rid of some of this paint because there is just way too much paint. Yeah, there's too much paint. I 
should have gotten rid of way more blue. See, I'm learning. And when you're learning, you make mistakes. Yippers. Still really pretty though. <clears throat> really pretty. It looks nothing like an ocean or any kind of critters swimming around, but let's move some more paint off, I guess. There is definitely a lot of it. So pretty down there. it kind of looks like vegetation. <laughs> mm, I do have a little seahorse right there. I think he lost his lower half of his body though. His head looks like a seahorse, but the rest of him looks like it's probably floating over here somewhere. I don't know. Do I like it or do I not like it? I kind of like it. I mean, it's very pretty. But I'm not sure if this is what I was looking for. And I don't want to mess with it because I always screw it up. Always. Always. Now what I could do is take a little bit of white if the lid will come off take a little bit of white and just kind of run it through a couple of places here It's kind of 
running together. Not a whole lot of separation between the white and the green. Or the blue and the green, sorry. Blue's in it. the white it kind of brightens it up a little bit but still not all that crazy about it All right, well, there's not a whole lot more I can do with this without completely turning it into mud, so... Bubbles out of there. Looks more like a bunch of islands. Doesn't really look like what I was looking for, so. Oh well, it's still pretty. And the colors are really pretty. You can see that or not. Probably too much glare on there, but well, no, it's not. It's not the worst. It's not muddy, so that's a plus. 
kind of looks like a map of islands. Oh well, I tried. I think my ribbon needed to be thicker than my pour paint. That's probably what the issue was, so. Anyway, another experiment in the books. So, I'm gonna call this done and see what else I can think of to do. And maybe we'll come out with something kind of decent. Maybe I'll try one of the 12 by 12s or I think I have a couple of 10 by 10s left too. So, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.